Sleeping Beauty. So this is my favorite because it's a, uh, well, amazing story. Okay, well, it's not a bad story. It's Sleeping Beauty. You, you know what Sleeping Beauty is. But uh, I like how it's, well, I looked up how old it is because I thought it was, like, made in the 40s because I'm pretty sure, um, I've, I don't know. I think it was Disney Plus or something. Something said it was made in the 40s. I looked it up. It's not true. Or I don't think it was Disney Plus, actually. I think it was, like, a TikTok or something. I don't know. I mean, I probably shouldn't believe the TikTok in the first place. That's my fault. Um, but I looked up what year Sleeping Beauty came out, and one of the searches, like, the common searches was, how did Sleeping Beauty eat while she was asleep? So, do people not realize this isn't a real story? Or, uh, this, but, uh, this, I got off, uh, track why I like this movie. Um, I like it because of the drawing, the animation style. You can tell that it was all hand-drawn, which, I mean, like a lot of these old animations, I don't know, I just like it more than the whole computer stuff, even though I do draw on the computer. But I'm a hypocrite, so, you know, it doesn't count. Who cares? Um, But yeah, I like Sleeping Beauty pretty much just because of the old animation style. And it just looks, well, cool. Aladdin. And if you say you don't like Aladdin, you're one of two things. You're either a liar or you're a serial killer. There's really no in-between. Because there's nothing to dislike about this movie. It's a fun movie. We have a genie. We have flying carpets. We have his uh, Aladdin's pet monkey. I don't know what his name is. That's why I didn't uh, draw him. Uh, I wasn't even going to mention him. But you can't not mention him when you're talking about Aladdin. But uh, hey, it's a super fun movie to watch. You got the parade. You got Jafar uh, using his mind control thing on people. You got the lamp. And it's just a fun movie to watch. I keep calling... um. Aladdin, yeah, I keep calling him Tarzan, so I keep thinking I'm calling the wrong name, but I'm not, well, I probably did, but let's, who cares, um, but yeah, everybody loves Aladdin, and if you don't, you're a liar. A Nightmare Before Christmas, this movie has my two favorite holidays, Halloween, well, and Christmas, um, but yeah, this movie, it's my favorite musical. Because, well, the song, I think personally, the songs fit actually really well. And a lot of musicals, they don't fit that well. At least I don't think so. I'm not a big musical guy. Um, but yeah, we got the we got Mr. Jack Skellington here, full on pop and Santa Claus, bringing him to Mr. Oogie Boogie to spit on the wheel. Um, we got the three devil kids who kidnap Santa Claus. We got dead reindeers. We got Halloween Town. We have Christmas Town. We got little elves. I mean, this movie pretty much has everything that you could want in a movie. Um, what else is this movie? Pretty much just has everything. Um, we got the creepy uh, mayor guy. That guy used to actually really scare me because I watched this movie when I was lit. Like I don't even know how young I was. I was like five or six when I first watched this movie. But uh, the mayor freaked me out because his head spun around. Uh, we oh the little uh. Doctor dude. I almost just called him Dr. Dre. Uh even though I don't even know how I got those two almost mixed up. But the guy who has his brain showing, that guy freaked me out. Um it's just an awesome movie. I'm if I'm just being honest. I don't know why I didn't draw Jack's dog. I probably should have. Jack's dog uh Zero. He, honestly, probably the best character in this entire movie, except for Jack, of course. So I almost forgot to talk about the uh, opening scene of this movie, the This Is Halloween song and just the festival. It's probably one of the coolest things in this movie, and a movie full of, well, just super cool things. So, uh, yeah, and the song is really good, the This Is Halloween song. It's, a, it's an absolute banger, honestly. Fantasia. So I didn't know if I'm supposed to consider this a musical or a um movie with music because um i i just don't know what to consider it because personally i think a musical is like where there's talking and stuff and singing but the only person who talks in this movie is the conductor so i don't know if i'm supposed to count this as a musical but um i'm not going to and uh, according to me a person on the internet um it's not a musical or at least i don't think it is it probably is um, but this, this movie was released in the 1940s, so maybe that's why I thought Sleeping Beauty was, or maybe I'm just insane, but the reasons I like this movie, 
well, obviously the music, because, well, this movie is 90% of the time music, and uh, the animation, the animation's really good, there's dinosaurs, um, yeah, there's Mickey, the uh, hat, the blue one, I actually have, I have no idea where it is, but um, I do have one, with the little star and the moon and everything, um, the brooms, the fact that um, these brooms are still kind well, I'm not going to say relevant because they're not, um, but still, I don't, like, uh, parodied off of on the shows like Family Guy and stuff like that is, uh, I mean, hey, it just shows how good this mus non music okay, I don't know what to consider it, alright, this movie is, but uh, yeah, Fantasia, I like it, I like the animation because, well, it's just good, it's good animation. Hercules. I've seen this movie probably a couple hundred times. Ever since Disney Plus has come out, I've watched it five times just on Disney Plus. And we used to have the DVD, but, um, well, it's a DVD, so I have no clue where it is or went. But, um, yeah, this movie growing up was my absolute favorite movie. Um, I don't 100% know why it was, because I knew nothing about Greek mythology. I do now know, well, a little bit. I would say I know a decent, more than the average person on Greek mythology because of this movie got me interested in, well, Greek mythology. And um, recently, I watched the live action Hercules from uh, the 70s with Lou Ferrigno. And um, I don't know if you've ever heard Lou Ferrigno talk. I don't even know if you know who that is. It was a uh, bodybuilder in the 70s. So, you know, he was super muscular, kind of looks like Hercules. Um, Wait, where was I going with this? Oh, his voice. I don't know what it is with movies from like the 70s and early 80s and um, changing everybody's voice. But um, yeah, I don't know what that's about. But this movie, hey, I think you know what I'm going to say. I like the animation. And I don't know if I'm supposed to consider this musical too, like Fantasia, because this movie has like four songs. Well, I guess it, I should consider it a musical then. So I guess Nightmare Before Christmas wouldn't be my favorite musical, and this would be. But, uh, yeah. I guess, would you? No, I'm pretty sure this is a musical. So, yeah, I guess this would be my favorite musical, not Nightmare Before Christmas.